Adding footnotes to a book makes the reading an involved and immersive experience. They are also handy when working with citations to refer readers to an external hyperlink source, bibliography or any related information. Kindle makes it easy for us to read footnotes and in this video we will learn how to add footnotes to your Kindle ebooks to publish on KDP. The footnotes in your ebook must have working hyperlinks so that readers can easily click from the location within a page to the footnote and back to the content from footnote. KDP supports footnotes, however, only on formats that are reflowable like Word documents, HTML, and text files. KDP doesn't support footnotes in fixed layout ebooks such as the ones created as comic books or PDFs, as the readers cannot adjust the fonts or font sizes in such ebooks and thus they are known as fixed layout formats. Here's how to add footnotes. In your Word document, select the text that you want to add footnote to, go to the References tab and click on Insert Footnote. So this is where you can add a footnote. This adds a footnote to the footer section in your document. You can also add an end note instead from the same tab group in the Word document by clicking on this button here. Clicking on this tiny arrow gives you more options to customize the way you want to add your footnotes. For example, you can number your footnotes with Roman numerals or symbols extra. Even Google Docs has a similar way to insert footnotes. Just place your cursor wherever you want to add footnote and go to the insert menu and click on footnote. The primary difference between footnotes and endnotes is simply the placement within a document. Footnotes are placed at the bottom of a page within the footer section and endnotes are placed at the end of a document or a chapter or a section like this one. Another important difference being long notes are preferred to be added as an end note instead of a footnote for the want of more space. When it comes to KDP, all the footnotes are converted to end notes automatically at the time of uploading your ebook to KDP. Footnotes on the other hand gives a better way to read especially on paper bags or hardbound books. And for ebooks, end notes are preferred. That's all about adding footnotes to Kindle ebooks to publish on KDP. In case you want to delete a footnote or end note, the best way to delete it is by deleting the number that you see over here which will automatically remove it from your footnote section and same goes for the end notes as well. I hope this video was helpful to you. See the video description for more such videos. Thanks for watching.